Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to show you my uh, injector problem in my uh, EV14 upgrade. Um, so I'm actually having problems with these injectors. They're, uh, I think I made another video about it, but they're leaking. I, I suspect that they're leaking when the when the car shut off, and it's creating like a hydro lock situation. You know, not every single time, but you know, like especially when it's hot. You know, I'll come back and the thing barely even kicks over, and then once the fuels kick through, it spins fine and I can smell a big whiff of gas at the back of the tailpipe, so... Right now I'm currently running, those are EV6 injectors and they're uh, Bosch 30 pound. Running a holy EFI fuel injection. But, uh, so I did buy some new fuel injectors, uh, EV14 style. Come back. And, uh, here they are here. So, these are actually off of a Chevy LS2 engine, Corvette. And these are like 30, I think anywhere from 32 to 34 pounds. Um, they had they run at a higher pressure, higher PSI. So um, hoping these will be the same diameter. I'm not sure yet. You have an EV injector, EV1 injector somewhere around here. It should be, but somewhere over here, I've got O ring. I'll make sure it fits before I take the other ones off. But that's the original EV1 style injector. I have EV6 on the car. It's the original Pintle single spray cone spray. And these modern ones um, have four holes. Um, but the main thing is, uh, the reason why I got them off of a, a, an LS1 engine or LS2 engine is because it's a single valve head. Whereas if I, if I got the EV14 injectors off of a, uh, let's say like a, like a modern Mustang or like modular motor, those are dual valve. And the injectors actually have a, a dual spray pattern to spray it basically at the at the, the dual valves. So you don't want that on, on a single valve engine because it's going to create like a it's going to wash down the, the cylinder walls. It's gonna, instead of spraying at the at the valve, it's going to be hitting the, the 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 walls and basically turning back into liquid, which you don't want. You want to atomize this stuff. So yeah, that's actually why I went to with the Chevy injectors. They are a different style connector. These are called a US car, US car, and that's a Jetronic connector. But I do actually have adapters for that. Uh, I'm not going to go into cleaning videos. I'm going to make some other videos of me cleaning these things. This will just be the conversion. But I do actually have these little adapter pieces. So, it should just fit on like that. Hope so. You get the idea. All right, cool. So I'm gonna clean these injectors up. I'm gonna backflow them. Put them in my ultrasonic cleaner and uh, get this going. Get this converted. I'm also gonna change my the way my 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 fuel routing and my engine when I take the intake off. You'll see that. So yeah, this should definitely work. I mean, I already have the specs on these injectors. So when I go into my holy EFI, I can uh, program the on and off times. That's actually important when anytime you change your fuel injectors, um, is you gotta know the on and off times. And I trip out when people, like I was watching their YouTube videos, and people people just buy random injectors off the internet, and they put them in their in a machine, you know, either a higher pound rating or uh, or whatever, you know, even the different like going going from EV1 to EV uh, EV6 or EV14. And the problem with that is that. The factory software is basically thinks you have EV1 injectors. The on and off times, the dead times are different. So you're not optimizing your fuel injectors. You need to know the dead times, on and off times, like based on like different voltages and stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it just it always surprised me they don't do that. So it works though, it seems like on the videos. So, but not the correct way of doing it. So, all right, guys, I all right, I'm gonna clean these and I'll. Uh, Start getting the intake off and pull the fuel rails up and get going. All right, guys. See, so yeah, I gotta take off the <coughs> upper intake so I can get to those fuel rails. Might, like I said, I might try changing the uh, the fuel routing. You know, less exposure to the engine heat. So, um, but yeah, this actually would probably be a good time to retorque the intake too, since so they're down there. Um, all right, let's get going. Check it out, dude. Awesome. All right, guys, check it out. So, got the upper intake off, and 
So one of the things I wanted to do was change, the, see these hose? This is the inlet right here. This hose right here. I do have a little heat shield on there, but the inlet comes in, goes back across the rail, hits back and goes back into the regulator. But I'm trying to expose less of this fuel line to this engine heat because I'm thinking, I don't know if the heat soak is creating the uh, injector leak or whatever, but like I said, eventually I'm going to ruin this engine because of vapor, or uh, not vapor lock, but uh, hydro lock. You know, it's not that bad now, but it's, you know, it's putting serious, probably hurting my bearings and my connecting rods. But, uh, so another concern I have too is my fuel injector is being long enough because they're actually a shorter injector. They're like the uh, middle length injector. I think two inches is the, is the long one. And, I think it's 48 millimeter, I think. So I got, but so I might have to get some injector caps. For that. All right. So <coughs> let me go back here. I might split the backers off here. So, so All right, I think I'm gonna split the black. I think I'm gonna split it. Just have the. I don't know if that's a good thing for air bubbles or not, but I'm gonna maybe split, split off back of that thing and just basically have it feed each rail. Alright. Alright guys, have the first uh, thing off here, but my main concern here is injector length. So I'm going to know pretty fast if it's going to work or not. If I have to order extensions or not. So I mean, that's going to be in a matter of getting this thing to go today or a couple days from now. Alright. I'm trying to get this one off so I can see here. I can get it to fit. I don't think, yeah, this is definitely longer. So that's what it would normally be. See how much longer that is? Yeah, I'm not going to get that in there. I need the caps. No doubt, because uh, I'm already, I already have a clearance issue already, so. <clears throat> so it's no go. Alright. Um, at least for today, I mean, it's not real, I mean, let's get the injector caps, the extensions. They make these little extension things to bring it out. Shit. Um, Alright, cool. So at least I'll get the uh, lines going today. I'll change those things over. Get that ready. So, alright, awesome.